Yes, I'm very sorry. I'm tardy. I had trouble with my WebEx. That's okay. Um, we've we've already gone through the presentation, but you know what? You're um, there. Um, we can go through it again. It's short, <laughs> and we can talk to you about that project. This project, no problem at all. I, um, I, I hate to do that. That's uh, awfully nice of you. Um, it's okay. It's not a problem. I'm, you know, some sometimes um, these presentations are short, and sometimes folks don't call in on time. And um, honestly, you're the only resident that has joined us. So yeah, we can go through um, the project again. It's a pretty straightforward project, and tr and then we can try to answer any questions you may have. Thank you so very much, Mark. Uh, I work <laughs> at Trinity Terrace, and so I know a lot of our residents are very interested, as well as our staff, in getting a traffic light at, at this place. Great. I, we always love to hear that folks, you know, want these improvements that we're building. That's that's the message that we'd love to hear. So, Mark, do you mind doing it again? No, not did it so flawlessly the first time. That's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, you could for an audience um, of one. Like, okay. So, my name is Mark McCoy. I'm the project manager for the city, and uh, this is the community meeting for the traffic signal and pedestrian improvements at Forest Park Boulevard and West 10th Street, Council District Number Nine. I'm going to give you a little project background, tell you where we are today and what the schedule going forward looks like, then share some contact information with you. Great. <clears throat> okay, so this project was identified for traffic signalization in 2022. The objectives include improving the traffic flow at the intersection during peak hours by reducing the stop delay and improving side street access to Forest Park from West 10th Street. Um, we will also be improving pedestrian safety at the intersection by installing pedestrian actuated signals with push buttons and uh, improving pedestrian access elements such as ADA compliant curb ramps. This project is being funded by the 2022 bond program. Right. So here's where we are building this traffic signal in case you're not familiar. Uh, 7th Street, you know, this is Lancaster down here. His Forest Park is a river. Hopefully, if you're live around here, you know where I'm talking about. So. Yeah, no, and, and Trinity's here is, of course, is right up the street on 10th there. So uh -huh. it's that's where I was hoping it was going to be. Okay, so good so far? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So here's just a zoomed in version of the same intersection. And as you know, there's not a traffic signal here now. Uh, there's just a stop sign in 10th Street. So uh, this should be a nice improvement. And that's the idea, obviously. Well, and, you know, if you leave Trinity Terrace at 5 o'clock, the traffic is backed up past Fournier of people trying to take a left on Forest Park right there. Right, um, exactly. Yeah, so this should help that a lot, right? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Uh, here's some engineering engineering flavored drawings. This is just excerpts from the 90% plans, which is where we are right now. And uh, you can see, or I can point out to you, uh, this is what the new traffic signal, what it looks like in plan view. Here's for the northbound traffic. Here's where the pole will sit. Here's where the signal heads are, are this numbers four and five. Same deal, southbound traffic, the pole sits here in the median. These heads facing north. Mm -hmm. Uh, here's the poll for the westbound traffic over here off the side of the road. It's facing east. So, uh, yeah, so uh, that was my main question, Mark, was that uh, in addition to the safer pedestrian crossing, um, which we have a lot of residents that use this to walk, you know, from 10th Street over to the Trinity Trail, that there will also now be a protected green light for traffic wanting to turn 
left or south on uh, onto Forest Park from 10th? I believe I believe so. Tr Christian, have we talked about signal timing and, and that kind of thing? Yeah. Uh, so we haven't talked specifically about uh, signal timing, but you can see the little uh, number one and number two, those signal heads, the number one is sort of just like a, a left turn red, yellow, green with a uh, green turn arrow. So, you yeah. know, that will be turned on. And then yeah. the other one signal head number two is actually has the capability to be a sort of flashing yellow light. So okay. it, it will, it would allow that sort of permitted uh, phasing. So uh, we haven't specified the phasing yet, but we do have uh, the signal heads that we're proposing do have oh. the capability of adding that green uh, timing to them. Okay, that's going to be so great. I know with the number of old people, we have, you know, 500 seniors living in that building. Um, and then, of course, the 200 staff coming and going, a lot of them use Forest Park daily, so that's good. Okay, we aim to please. Mm -hmm. uh, here's just a little different detail shown with the same view uh, you can see that we're just refreshing some of the pavement markings the stop bars uh, installing a little bit of sidewalk here to connect to the trail modifying this meeting a little bit um, you know a little little gravel here in the median refreshing these pavement markings uh, stamp stained concrete here in the median it's pretty Pretty simple, pretty cut and dry. The gist of the job is 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 the signals. So, yeah. And you you said that you're going to have the ADA um, step down from the curve for wheelchairs, right? I believe uh, is I believe that's ADA uh, approved already at, at at this corners, right, Christian? That might already be there uh, once we lobbied before to have at least those, you know, lights there that could flash when you cross. I actually think they did install that. I think you're right. Uh, yes, uh, for this project, the, the sort of uh, uh, the 2 existing ramps are already ADA. It's yeah. that sort of median ramp in the middle that we're ensuring is also ADA as, right. the, as they sort of cut through it. But uh, yeah. the, the notes also say we are adding the pedestrian signals, right? Is that correct, Christian and uh, Mark? I think Lana that was is, asking. I was. I think she was asking about the buttons you press to go across. Yes, that that is correct. There will be okay. the actual uh, actuated pedestrian button. So whenever you yeah. select it, it will change the signal timing to allow pedestrian crossing. Great. Yeah, I'd be kind of disappointed to make it down the ramp halfway across the street just to not get across. <laughs> right. So right. That, would be, that would be good engineering. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Good catch. Yeah, we've, okay. we've taken that into account. Good. Um, well, I'm, I'm very excited that this is coming. And what's the time frame again? Just one. That's the next slide. It's funny All you should right. ask. Okay, so here, here's where we are currently. We're at 90% design. Like I said, this is the design community meeting that you're sitting in right now. Uh, just so you know, we're not getting any right of way or re relocating any utilities. Uh, we have started the process to order materials based on the 90% plans, just so we can get a jump on construction because lots of the materials for this this kind of project are have very long lead times, like four or five months. So we're trying to get out ahead of that. Um, you can see here, we will have another pre-construction community meeting right before we begin construction. So that will probably be August, September. Uh, estimated construction start will be September, October. And then once we start, it'll take five months. So that'll push us into next February, March. And- okay. uh, Approximate cost is 428,000. So that's, that's it in a nutshell, this slide. That's kind of where we're headed. Okay, well, um, I think that the, the traffic increase in that whole area, and if this is very warranted, I'm excited you're doing it.
Well, thank you. I appreciate thank this. you very much for attending the meeting and we appreciate that kind of feedback. Definitely. Well, and I will, I will share with you also that um, I did an update in our uh, resident council meeting to about 100, 150 people last week, and there was applause when they heard that this was coming. So, so you made some friends. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. I have to have a ribbon cutting or something when it opens up. <laughs> no, what's, what's cool is we have these rickshaws, you know, where we take residents. Um, that can't get across on themselves. And uh, we've had to drive our vans over to the park because there hasn't been a safe way to cross. So we might get some good uh, PR, um, you know, and we can try to get that placed, even good PR for the city with taking those rickshaws across. <laughs> so, nice. Yeah. Well, that makes me, you know, feel good that someone is wanting this project to be built so badly and is happy about it. That's that's excellent. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is good feedback and we do appreciate that. Uh, Mark, a lot of a lot these seven signal projects that we're trying to get in the ground around the city, we've received feedback like this. And for most of these, these are definitely warranted signal projects where there's safety issues often. And um, this is these projects are really going to help. So I'm, I'm glad line um, attended the meeting tonight. Well, thank you so much, and I so appreciate you uh, staying late doing it for me, and uh, um, I feel really good about it, and, and thank you so much. Hey, our pleasure. Um, if you want to jot down this, this contact information in case you have any questions, I mean, feel free to, this is the design project manager, uh, Christian, who was on the call. Uh, this is his uh, design manager, I guess, okay. over at Binkley Barfield. And then this is me, Mark McCoy, at the city. So, all right, uh, so the picture yeah. of the slide, I've got it. Yeah, okay. if you if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to start with Mark. He's our project manager. He's supposed to know everything about the project. <laughs> so yeah, just reach out to Mark if you have any questions about the project um, until construction starts or even during construction. Fantastic, and uh, you know. Um, Feel free to contact me also if you want any good PR for the project. I can get hundreds of uh, cheerleaders for you. Okay. Oh my God! <laughs> can we call you for all of our projects? Right. Yes. We want no, your help no. on all of our projects. <laughs> <laughs> this one for sure. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. All right. Well, thank you very much. And uh, if that's it, then I'll let you go to dinner. Thanks. Have a good night. You that's too. it. Thank bye you bye. so much. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Okay.